Every culture, every region has their way of catching up to talk about the day, sports, news, life and other things. In France, they have cafes. In the Middle East, they share a shisha. In England, they fancy a pint or two. In Malaysia, the ritual is a te tarik session. A time for good company, laughs and good conversation over cups of piping hot creamy tea that's pulled to perfection. Sweetened creamer is a key ingredient in te tarik, but it's often left out of the conversation. So how does FNN Dairies, a 40-year-old brand and market leader in the sweetened cream category get talked about? To start with, own the conversation before the conversation starts. Jom TTS, meaning let's go for a Te Tarik session, was lingo that young Malaysians were using to invite friends for Te Tarik sessions. FNN saw opportunity in this and decided to play the role of social stimulant. For the first time in Malaysia, FNN took TTS onto social media with the Jom TTS Facebook community, an online space where people could talk about their favorite drink and all things surrounding it. FNN also introduced Malaysia's first Te Tarik Finder and Scheduler, a unique application that enabled Malaysians to enjoy TTS at over 2,000 registered Te Tarik outlets and invite their Facebook friends to a hot cup at a specified time and place all in one go. FNN then added social interactions and views from Malaysia's Te Tarik sessions. A survey application was added to the page that asked Malaysians interesting questions about their national drink. Countless participated in this innovative social survey, the answers from which were used to create ads that were posted on the page. 32% used TTS to meet up with their ex-girlfriends. 37% of Malaysians felt that a good Te Tarik was like a good massage. 19% used TTS to check out hot women. Malaysia started to share what they were talking about online. Next up was the Kira Kira contest that asked people to spot how many times the FNN logo, arrows and glasses appeared in the FNN television commercial. The contest saw over 10,000 entries with over 1,000 ringgit in cash prizes given away each week. The Joe Marbuka Puasa giveaways was added to the mix. A contest asking people to talk about their favorite places for breakfast, places that serve food that best complemented their te tarik, and to share pictures of themselves breaking fast at mamak shops during Hari Raya. Each week, the first 40 selected entries were given FNN premium packs. Within three months of its launch, Jom TTS saw over 500,000 Malaysians participate in TTS conversations. Over 10,000 Malaysians met at over 2,000 outlets. Calls for another round, don't you think? 